Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, I just want to give this a head up for people who want to hack it. The, the new system just came out. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let you know how to hack it. It does, it's, hack, it's hackable. You could hack this. I don't know if there's such a word as hackable. But anyway, you could hack this and uh, I just run some command and find out it does work. So you could look at Glenn's uh, video. Uh, how to do this and I'll put his link but he will show you how to hack the, the older model this is a new model so you don't have to open anything only thing you have to do is get a good data cable like uh, for the phone or data cable the thick one white one and then just plug it directly to the back and plug it in so so for example See, you recognize it. When I unplug it, you can hear that the sound went doo -doo. And when you plug it in, you guys able to see what I'm doing? Let me bring it down a little bit. Okay. So right now this white cable is unplugged and I'm gonna plug it in. Oh, <laughs> shoot, I forgot to sh do a proper shutdown. When you unplug it, you turn the power off of this. So you have to turn the power back on. I don't know if it could cause a problem or not. But if we do, we could, we, could, we, could, we could figure out how to fix that. So make sure you do a shutdown on this, okay? You hear that? It came back, it came back up. It came back on, okay? So you're gonna run the command on Pretty much the same command you do on the on the old one, the old model hack. Okay, so I normally just do a video for fun and information. I'm not making money. No, I can't keep on saying that. I'm not trying to make money or anything. So those of you who want to get more viewer. This is a uh, good information to share with you. So you guys who want to do this, you could hack it and then a lot of people will see it and everything. And um, so anyway, the what you do is you do have to install that that special software. And I and I'll provide you all the information. So what you do is uh let's see. This is a new copy I did. So what I do is I open the program that I installed the software and the software will automatically install over here okay in this folder okay and then once you install it you're going to run this command called ADA starter okay so you just copy now when you first go into the DOS prompt let me show you what happened when you go to the DOS prompt when you first go into it you have this uh, other directory, correct? And whenever there's a space, it's hard to get there. So, so for example, I'm gonna go to that program right here, okay? And the best easy way to to get to that directory is you click here, and you get the prompt of the exact path you need to go to. Then you do click, copy, okay? Minimize that. So you need to go to that directory to, in order to run the command. So you're going to do cd, uh, I think this is forward slash, okay? Then you use a mouse, you're going, to pay, you're going to paste it, okay? So you're going to click your mouse on the right side and you automatically will paste it. Once you paste it, you just use the arrow key and go all the way down till you see the C colon, okay? Delete the C colon, there's the colon, there's the C. Delete that and delete the forward slash. So only have one single forward slash. So it'll be CDs forward slash that, okay? Because you have a lot of space between it and you won't be able to type that in. So it's best to do it the way I show you. All right, then you press enter and boom, you're in that folder where you need to be, okay? Then you're gonna run this command called ADB star server. Okay, mine's already started already, so let's try again. See if we we'll start again. But uh, 
Let me copy again. I didn't get a good copy. Oop. Uh, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just copy that command and I'm just going to copy and paste it over. Okay. Copy and then come over here and I'm just going to right click on the mouse. A low mouse. All right, let's try again. Right click. Ah, oh, did not took it. Copy. There you go. Okay, now I paste it. Press enter. Let's move the screen a little bit more over so you can see what happened when I press enter. All right. Now it's not going to say the server started because I already have it started. So if it, uh, when he did, it, it, I made a copy, it's going to say this. It's going to say blah, 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 started now, and then blah, blah, blah. This is what you're going to see. It's going to say successful. Okay. Now there's another command to, to double check it is run this command to make sure it is running. Okay, called the ADB device. Press enter. And it say, list of device attach. Okay, blah, 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 device. Okay. Now, I don't know, did it, if, on the physical computer, can you actually see it? I don't think you could. It would be cool if you could. I never really check it, so I'm checking it now. So I got USB G drive, which is plugged into my G drive. No, that's not my G drive. I got an F drive and a G drive. I wonder what are those drive. I wonder is one of them. Uh, I'm just gonna let this load load up. Okay, let's try click on F. What's that? Nothing. Okay, what's G? Nothing. Okay, so it created the two drive which I have no clue what are those. But it doesn't appear that I could see it from the using the computer. Yeah. Okay. So forget that. All right. So then you're going to uh you're going to run this command and this command what it does is it, sh it tell you what program it have that is loaded. So you're going to do, sorry. You're going to copy that, that command line right there. Okay. And I'll put all this in the description. So you're going to copy that and then you're going to paste it. You're going to do right click. Uh, I didn't do it again. Copy. Right click press enter okay so this is telling you what program is running it's running a game launcher and it is an Android defend counter okay and the game is running a game launcher so this screen I'm sorry I'm looking at this sorry so sorry the game launcher is your is the what you call it the launcher that is that's you cannot, you know, access, okay? So this is the game launcher. This screen is actually, the program is called a game launcher. So you will have to install a different launcher so that you have a, an option to choose from this one or that one, okay? All right, so I'll leave that to you. Now I could install software into it, a different emulator to it, but right now, uh, I'm ordering a different one because I don't like the way this screen is look like so once my second one come in I will do a hack on that one okay so I'm just gonna leave it like that because I don't want to do any damage to the software because if I could do any if I do a damage to the software I no, not damage uh, how you say that because once you install it you cannot uh, they, I never know how to un, undo it. Now, Glenn's from the video. I'll, I'll give him give you his link as well. He he know how to back it up, but the problem is when I back it up, I don't know how to restore it. So because he never he never show us. Mapping is needed other than that. He never did a video of showing you how to install it. You can see very quickly. 
Yeah, he's installing the launcher. And I could install it, but I don't want to do anything to it. But anyway, this is a, just a, a information for those people who want to hack it. Uh, just letting you know that it's hacked, you could hack it. Okay. So I'll give you this link of the one that he hacked, the Data East. And once I get my other one come in, then I will hack it. Okay. All right. Okay, so there are two options you're going to see here. See, now There's when you install option, another software, you got two Dave options East, will come up. Which is the built-in emulator. And the bottom is Nova Launcher. So I'm going to use my joystick and go down to Nova Launcher, which, of course, it doesn't work. So we'll so do yeah, is put the mouse point, back in. I'm going to temporarily disconnect the uh, USB from the computer and reconnect our mouse. Okay? So I'm going right. to unconnect the mic. So let me USB. pause this. Now I'm gonna re Now I'm curious is is if no I, I still can't plug the mouse in. I'll try before I couldn't get it to work. Because I was thinking if I plug the Alright, so you could this this back here based on the system board it does say this is a OTG and it's true because when you plug it in it's not just charging, it also lets you able to read the data. So you could install a different launcher and when it boot up, you just have to choose a different launcher. So you're going to have two launcher trying to uh, fight for its uh, position and you just have to choose the right one. And hopefully at that moment, the joystick will work that you could select a different one and launch a different emulator. Once you get that going, hopefully uh, the mouse and everything else will work. But if you want to try it, Please try on your own risk. Don't blame on me if it's broken or anything. It's just information I'm sharing with you that it is hackable. Because last time I told you it couldn't, but now after I tested it, you could. But just a warning, you're, you're on your own risk, okay? You might want to wait till somebody actually hack it and show you the step-by-step. -step. If you want to wait for me, wait for me. But if you want to go ahead and do it yourself and do a be the first person to hack this on the YouTube, be my guest because uh, a lot of people will definitely want to see that. Okay, so just information head up to let you know. Yes, it is. Computer could see it and it does work. You could physically install uh, different email data and different launcher to this this new arcade that just came came out all right thank you for watching talk to you later bye bye